Hello friends. Now, I've been requested to do a video on rev limiters and how they work. And the request was specifically for on dirt bikes. But, for one, I don't have a dirt bike here. And for two, they're all the same in principle. So we're going to use this car as an example. Um, basically, there is two types of rev limiter. One stops the fuel going in, and the other one stops the spark from the coal pack. Um, but most commonly used is the spark one that stops the, the electric going into the coal pack so there's no spark. Basically, when it gets to a certain amount of revs, for example, on this car, um, the limit I have is 8k, 8,000 RPM. When it gets to 8,000, the computer stops the spark for literally like a millisecond. And then it will put it back again. So it's, you can create the same effect by pump if you press the accelerator on and off, but it ain't, you can't do it quick enough. <laughs> So by doing it, by stopping the spark and putting it back again, stopping it and putting it back, stopping it and putting it back, the revs stay at a certain point because it won't go any higher because it's not letting it because there's no spark. So that's how a rev limiter works. Just by stopping the spark basically for a millisecond and then putting it back again. Now diesels, just in case anyone wants to know, diesels, the rev limiter is different. I don't think the old ones had any at all. They just, as far as the pump would go, that's as far as it would rev. <laughs> Obviously, modern day ones are co controlled by a computer, so the computer limits how much fuel is going in. And obviously, diesels don't have sparks, so they can burn on anything, oil, whatever. So that's how they overrun, you see. So that's how, you know, diesels don't really have a limit, that's just computerised. How much diesel's going in. But for a dirt bike, you know, it's the same thing. Two strokes, two stroke dirt bikes, they don't have a limit. They they just, as, as far, they'll keep revving. <laughs> Unless they can control by a computer, but I don't think many true strokes are controlled by computers. Oh, I'm sorry, I have a cold, you have to excuse my sniffing. Um, but yeah, like, most two strokes will just, pretty much all of them I know of, will just, they don't have a limit, they just keep revving and revving. They rev extremely high, most two strokes. Um, unless, unless they have a, uh, a throttle stop on them, they'll rev all the way until the, the car won't open anymore. Um, See if we can get these are four stroke cars off of an R6, but let's see. They'll just keep revving all the way until that they open all the way, and they'll just keep revving and revving and revving and revving until that the, the fuel, fuel and air supply won't let it rev anymore. But, um, four strokes that don't have a computer to control them they they normally have some sort of electronic limiter or they don't have a limiter at all they'll be the same as as a two stroke but most modern day four strokes zero 450 2013 models and stuff like that they'll have a computer an ECU that controls them so I'd imagine they probably have a rev limiter uh, a lot of people do confuse rev limiters. A lot of people think that old, old dirt bikes have limiters. And I'm probably going to get a lot of comments on this video saying, Oh, you're wrong, you're wrong, they have limiters. You know, what people think, whatever they think. You know, I'm only telling you what what I know. Everyone seems to think different. I get a lot of comments on most of my videos thinking pe people thinking they know everything and they know better. Um, quite frankly, most of them are wrong. Um... I do do research before I do my videos. But yeah, back to the rev limiters, you know, basically they're all just, the way a rev limiter works is by putting the spark on 
and off. Really fast, like a millisecond off, back on again, millisecond, back off, back on. And that creates the bomb, 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 bomb that you get with a rev limiter. All rev limiters are different. Some of them are slower. Some of them, like Honda Civics, for example, they have slow limiters. So they, you know, rev, wham, 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 like slow limiter, some of really fast, like this Saxo or the Focus out there, the RS, that has a fast limiter. It's just by putting the spark on and off loads of times, many seconds. But yeah, thanks for keep keep watching my videos, everyone. And uh, if you have any more requests, and uh, I'll do another one. A request that you want, if you want an update on this car, the build that's going, the engine build. I'll do you one. Um, but other than that, hopefully I won't have a cold in the next video, and I'll do a proper one. So take care, friends. Happy New Year.